Hi everyone, it's Heidi again. Today we are going to be watching another video about uh, Imperial versus Metric, I think. It's called A Guide to Imperial Measurements with Matt Parker, Earth Science. The reason why I'm watching this is because I forgot I wanted to watch a better video about the Imperial system. This was from a video that I recorded two years ago uh, called Is the Metric System Actually Better? That video that I watched was so confusing. <laughs> Even people in the comments were like, this is not the best video. And so uh, let's do a redo. I'm even wearing the same outfit because it's a special occasion. Since then, we went to Europe. I had a baby. Life is so wild. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And let's do this. It has very recently been brought to my attention that during my number hub video on the A4 paper scale, I made an apparently unwarranted number of attacks on the imperial system of measurement. How and dare. I would like entirely voluntarily to apologize. Why wouldn't you take a barley corn as the basis of your system of measurement should you be, I don't know, hypothetically, an industrialized modern superpower? <laughs> okay, the sarcasm already is <laughs> so funny. So a barley corn? Okay, I'm sure he's going to explain. I don't think I know the exact origin of the imperial system, so this should be really interesting. <laughs> and to apologize, I'm now going to give you the number hub guide to the imperial measurement system. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> because it all hangs together so nicely. You take three barley corns, that gives you an inch. You then take 12 inches, that gives you a foot. You take three feet, it gives you a yard. You take 1,760 yards, you get a mile. A mile, alternatively, you can split into eighths. Each eighth of a mile is a furlong. Of those furlongs, you can divide them into tenths and you get a Gunter's chain. It what? <laughs> oh no, I've never heard of a furlong. I've never heard of a gunter, a gunter's chain. <laughs> One eighth of a mile, why? Why have we put a name to that? That's interesting. Okay, totally fine. That's totally, totally fine. We're fine. Each Gunter's chain you can divide into elevenths, and that gives you a fathom. If you take 15 fathoms, you get a shackles. Or alternatively, if you take 100 fathoms, you get a cable. You take 10 cables, you get a nautical mile. A nautical mile, of course, being wildly different from a standard mile. If you take three nautical miles, you get a league. Or alternatively, <laughs> if you take a nautical mile and split it into feet, you get 6,080 feet. We're back at feet. If you take a foot and you divide it in thirds, you get what's called a hand. Of course, a hand is exactly the, th the size of a foot. Each hand, if you cut it in half, you get a stick. Each stick, if you cut it in half, you get an inch. Each inch, if you take three of them together, you get a palm. A palm split into quarters gives you a digit. Three digits give you a nail. Four nails give you a span. Two spans give you a cubit. A cubit divided into thirds gives you a shatman. I've heard of a cubit. I can't calculate what a cubit is right here. I know I've just heard that that's a measurement. I thought that this was going to be less confusing. You know what? This is less confusing. He's being very straightforward. This is all making perfect sense, except that it's insane. <laughs> Sometimes the things that we have names for in the United States make no sense. And why do we have names for them? <laughs> why do we do that? Why do we do this? What is this? Anyway, okay. We're more than halfway through the video. We can do this. We got this. It's why wouldn't you call something a shatment? If you take five Shat shatments, you get a pace. If you take two paces, you get a step. Of course, two paces to the step. If you take four <laughs> steps, you get a rope. If you take five ropes, you get a ramson's chain. If you take five... Okay, wait, wait, wait. I love that he laughed just now. He's like, I can't even do this. Let's forget about feet. Okay, let's forget about inches. Let's just use shatments. I think that that would make things much, much better for us here in the United States. Like increase our quality of life. That's my vote. Okay, let's make a petition. <laughs> 50 ransoms chain, you get a Roman mile. The Roman mile, of course, wildly different from the standard mile. Cause while the Roman mile is exactly 60,000 hey! inches, the standard mile is 63,360 inches. We should use the Roman mile. I mean, at least 60,000 inches makes a little more sense. Or maybe we can just use metric. That might be better too. But I mean, what do I know? <laughs> Speaking of inches, if you take an inch and divide it into six, you get pickers. If you take a picker and divide it into twelfths, you get a point. If you take a point okay, and divide yeah, it into twentieths, you get twerps. Or alternatively, if you take six points, you get a line. A line is exactly the same length as a poppy seed. And if you take four poppy seeds, you're right back where we started. Four poppy seeds equals one barley corn. What a fantastically oh. logical and consistent system of units. <laughs> 
and he ends it there. Holy shit. <laughs> I love the attitude that he put towards this. He's like, let me apologize, you big idiots. <laughs> what even is a barley corn? I'm gonna look it up. Okay, these are barley corns. Yeah, totally, totally makes sense. This feels very like medieval. Once again, we learned that the imperial system is silly. I don't know why it's like that. <laughs> why did we do that? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for the recommendation. This is funny. Um, it was very interesting. I learned a lot and also nothing at all. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. <laughs> Keep the recommendations coming and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.